The realms of day and night, two different words coming from two opposite poles, mingled during this time. My parents' house made up one realm. This realm was familiar to me in almost every way: mother and father, love and strictness, model behavior, and school. There are numerous ways in which God can make us lonely and lead us back to ourselves. This was the way He dealt with me at that time. The other realm, however, overlapping half our house, was completely different. A loud mixture of horrendous, intriguing, frightful, mysterious things, including slaughterhouses and prisons, junkyards and screeching fishwives, calving cows, horses sinking to their death, tales of robberies, murders, and suicides. It was the first fissure in the columns that had upheld my childhood, which every individual must destroy before he can become himself. Such fissure and rents grow together again, heal and are forgotten, but in the most secret recesses, they continue to live and bleed. With a face that resembled her son's, timeless, ageless, and full of inner strength, the beautiful woman smiled with dignity. Her gaze was full of men, her greeting a homecoming. Silently, I stretched my hands out to her. The bird fights its way out of the egg. The egg is the world. Who would be born must first destroy a world. The bird flies to God. That God's name is Abraxas.